why you should keep a close eye on the FTSE 100. Conventional wisdom says that falling interest rates are positive for stocks and rising interest rates are negative for the stock market. The reasoning goes something like this. Bonds compete with stocks for investment funds. The higher the yield or interest rate investors can get from bonds, the less attractive is the dividend from stocks. However, during times of low interest rates, stock dividends become more attractive. That's the theory. Yet Elliott Wave International's research reveals that this theory does not hold up. In other words, over the decades, there have been times when stocks have risen and times when stocks have fallen when rates were falling, and the direction of stocks has been both up and down during various periods of rising rates. This is mentioned because what's been going on with the FTSE 100 is a case in point of conventional wisdom getting turned on its head. Look at this chart showing the FTSE 100's three biggest declines in the past quarter century from our June global market perspective. As the publication notes, all of them coincided with falling interest rates, not rising ones. In fact, the three-month LIBOR benchmark was pushing north of 6% at the FTSE's December 1999 top. The bear market would not end until three years later, with rates approaching 1%. LIBOR fell from 5% to 1% during the 2007-2009 bear market, which erased 50% of the FTSE's value. And most recently, the COVID-19 stock market crash saw LIBOR rates dip from 2% to 0%. No matter how many times we illustrate this relationship, the stock market bulls cannot stop themselves from calling on the central bank to cut rates when they fear an approaching bear market. Indeed, here are a couple of headlines from the past few months. Why the Bank of England should cut interest rates this week. Slash interest rates and stop bond sales, ex-policymaker tells Bank of England. In Elliott Wave International's view, the key to the FTSE 100's price direction is the wave principle, not interest rates. Get our Elliott Wave analysis of the FTSE 100, as well as other major global stock indexes, by following the link below this video.